Welcome back to the channel. Rapid Blue is the new black, where I get right into the content. No fluff in the beginning about YouTube algorithms and all that junk. Let's get right into it. So today I want to talk about why I chose the convertible over the coupe for the Corvette. So, reason number one, it's just a lot more practical and easier. It's a lot easier to just press a button and have the top go down than have to, you know, unlatch it and carry this to the back, open the trunk, put it in. It's just a lot easier. I know it's $7,500 more and without keeping in mind of um, interest rates or if you have a five-year loan or a seven or eight-year loan, you're probably looking at about anywhere from like 100 to $160 extra per month in your payment. So yes, it is definitely an expensive add-on, but I do think that the money is well spent just because of the practicality of this. That's number one. And before I get to the next one, let's talk about the one main reason to buy the coupe is strictly so you can see the engine bay. So that was my biggest thing stopping me from getting the convertible because I'm like, this is a mid-engine vehicle. I think it's so cool to be able to see the engine over here. So you cannot see the engine when the top is down. So that's the biggest drawback of getting the convertible. However, I think that's really the only good reason to get the coupe. I think that your decision should really depend on your geographical location. So I live in Florida where it can be a beautiful day like you see right now, or it can literally just rain at the drop of a hat, especially during those you know May to September months over here. You never know when it's gonna rain. Now, if you live in California where it's very beautiful basically every day and it hardly ever rains, well then maybe it's definitely worth it for you to get the coupe. Really depends on what you think. So that's number one. Number two, I think that it looks better. I really think that the convertible looks better than the coupe. Particularly, you get these really nice looking black narsals. You do not get that on the coupe at all. It gives it that more exotic look. It's really gonna grab people's attention, and I like that. Uh, another thing, speaking of attention, and th again, this is not important to me, I have never had any social media, never had Facebook, I don't care about attention, but I know that's important for a lot of people, so let's go over this reason. It's gonna grab attention. I mean, when you start the car like this, <laughs> and you put this convertible top. I mean, this it looks like a transformer. It is super cool and it's gonna attract a lot of attention. The other thing is, I mean, it is a hard top convertible. I think that, not all, but overall, in general, the rag top convertibles, they're kind of ugly looking. You know, like who wants a piece of cloth over here? I mean, when this top is closed, it looks like it could be a coupe. It doesn't look like a convertible, so it's really catch people off guard when you take the top down like that. So I really think that aesthetically, it's a lot more pleasing. I also like the peace of mind of just having a button to press. So if you're ever driving on the highway, it starts pouring rain. I mean, do you really want to pull over, unlatch the inside, get out in the pouring rain, by yourself maybe, carry, I know it's not heavy, but you gotta carry this all by yourself in the pouring rain, it can slip out of your hands, it can get damaged, you gotta put it in the trunk, you're getting soaked, you're probably not happy if you're me. Uh, so I really just did not want that stress or to be caught in that situation. So it really just gives me peace of mind. Now, back to what I said, the only reason to get the coupe is because of the clear engine bed. I was always thinking with the Corvette, it's a mid-engine sports car. I gotta be able to see the engine. That's such a cool thing. How can I get the convertible? I missed that out. After, again, after I thought about it more, it just didn't make sense. Now, they have clear engine bays. If you want, you can get a clear engine bay. Now, you're not gonna be able to see it when the top is closed like this. You're only gonna be able to see it when you have this part lifted. It's a bit of a compromise. 
it's not the worst thing. I'm probably not going to do it because I don't want to open up that whole can of worms of having to decorate the whole engine bay, especially since you know you can't see when the car is in park or when it's driving or when it's down. So I don't think it makes much sense. If you're a car show person, I think it's a great idea to get the clear engine bay if you have a convertible. But for most people, it's really only only a want, probably not necessary for the convertible. But you do have that. So that was another thing that alleviated my concern of not being able to see the engine. I figured if I really want to after I get it, I can get that clear engine bay. And there's a few different models. Uh, just check YouTube. People do tons of reviews on those. They're very informative reviews as well. So that's all I got for you today. Let me know what you think. If uh, all you coupe guys out there or gals want to try to convince me that the coupe is better than the convertible, I would love to hear your reasons why. If you enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.